The election just days away. Many survivors of domestic violence have yet to receive their ballots in the mail, a method they rely on to vote as casting a ballot in person is out of the question. So I was told that on the 17th it was mailed, which is on a Friday, so I should have received it by that Monday or Tuesday the latest. Uh, today is October 30th, and we're well over almost two weeks into this waiting period. The long delay is linked to a state program this survivor is a part of. It's called the Address Confidentiality Program, which is run by the Secretary of State's office. It's used to hide the actual addresses of domestic violence survivors as a layer of protection from their abuser. And I'm in the program because repetitive order protections against the abuser that have been granted by the court. How it works is survivors are given a substitute address for mail and legal documents. Anything sent to them is picked up by the Secretary of State's office. They repackage the mail and send it to the survivor's real address. Usually this means a slight delay by one or two days. However, this survivor says they've yet to receive their ballot something that's never happened before. And I've done two different elections for the primary and also for presidential, and my ballot have arrived on time. The Secretary of State's office confirmed they are aware of the problem, saying it's impacting 166 people in the program. Releasing a statement which reads in part, our team has noted that this issue appears to be isolated, with most ballots sent on various days being received as scheduled. We are waiting on USPS to determine the specific reason for the ballot processing delay. But even if they get their ballots now, it's too late to mail them in. As for voting in person, this survivor says that's off the table. Do you feel like going to these places in person could put you, your life in jeopardy? Yes, that's going to give the parameter where I physically live. That's not safe at all. The Secretary of State's office says that they are planning to have contacted all those impacted by today. And they say that those impacted should vote on the ballot when they eventually receive it in the mail, seal it in the provided envelope after signing it, and return it to any ballot drop-off location or voting center. They also added that the Maricopa County's Elections Department has a 24-hour drop-off box. Mm, just an aspect that you never think of, but mm -hmm. so important for yeah. them. Yeah, wow. they really want their, their votes to be counted, but Absolutely. they also don't want the potential of their location don't being want the revealed. Risk of it. Yeah. yeah, a couple more days for her to get her ballot. Hopefully she does. Mm -hmm. Stephen, thank you. Mm.